last year around this time, you said expectations were a little lower than a younger team. This year, you kind of bring back more experience. What's kind of your feel with this year? Well, I really like this team a lot. We're still uh, we're still young classification wise. Only two juniors or two seniors, and um, you know a big group of freshmen coming in. But uh, I really like this group. Our you know, our sophomore class was a little bit of baptism by fire last year. And, um, you know, with so many injuries last year, everybody everybody we had available was part of what we were doing. And, you know, so it's good to see some of them get to settle into their natural position and um, and get a year in the weight room and get some experience under the belt. And, you know, they've all done that. And, you know, today it's unusual to be scrimmaging on the very first day of practice, but that's, you know, that's where FanFest fell. And so it made for an ugly one, but um, I like this group. I'm looking forward to getting to work with them. Speaking with Sophia, she said the team kind of worked on team culture in the offseason. What, what specific areas? Yeah, just, you know, this, this program's always kind of been built on toughness and, you know, competitiveness and togetherness. And, you know, we, we started winning at a high level long before we had a locker room full of super high level athletes. And uh, it was all those intangibles that, that really made us great. And, you know, through the years, we've gotten more and more talented. And, you know, you almost feel like that, that, that part of it, the, back to the roots of it, the, the togetherness and the toughness and the competitiveness, um, you know, wasn't at the level that, of some of the teams that had played before them. And, and so we talked a lot about that this spring. And uh, this group's had a really great buy-in to that. And, and it's one of the things that gives me a lot of confidence moving into the season. A couple of seniors talked about that sort of getting in last year, and they kind of have the motivation to the season. Not only for that group, and you know, our team lives in such a big shadow with what our, our program has accomplished through the years. And, um, you know, last year, we all felt, you know, last year was a, a quote unquote down year for us, but it was still a 20 win season. And, you know, we had some terrific wins along the way, but, but you know, the march been set pretty high. And, um, you know, th this is a group that I, I think relishes a little bit. It's the first time we've been in Conference USA that we're not the returning champion. And, uh, and, you know, going into our sixth year. And so um, yeah, I think this group relishes maybe being able to lay the weeds a little bit and just get back to the to the basics and, and maybe be able to feel like a little bit of an underdog for the first time in, in many years because I, I promise you we don't have underdog talent this year. And uh, we're, we're young and hungry and, uh, and it's going to be a fun group to watch. That was mentioned in all the two senior, seniors and Sophia and Emma. What are you kind of hoping to get out of that in their last year here at Western? Well, you know, I, I think perspective for the for the younger kids. I mean, they've 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 seen both sides of it now. You know, with the struggle that we had last year. I mean, they're also kids that figured prominently on that team that that almost went to the Sweet Sixteen the year before. And so, there's not much that can happen that that they haven't seen uh, throughout their careers. And so, um, you know, they're both really bright kids. They're both um, uh, do things the right way. They're very good kids, very coachable kids, and. And we'll provide great leadership for this group in terms of doing things the right way and showing up and working hard every day. And, you know, with some of the young talent we have, I think that will serve as well. That's now this is the first day of the 25th season. Is it just business as usual this year? Uh, you know, it is, but I'm a little invigorated. You know, last year was such a difficult year on so many levels. I mean, we had so many injuries. Our team was banged up. We had so many injuries. I was coming off my health issue with my heart attack. And, you know, last year – it was almost like a fog. We were all in a kind of a fog. We were just trying to hang on, you know, through 2018. And, and I feel like we've kind of worked hard to get our feet back on the ground, set our feet, and, and be ready to to return ourselves to, to the expectation that we have for ourselves and, and that this community has for its volleyball program. One player I want to ask you about, Lauren Matthews, who was injured for a better part of last season. Obviously, super talented. What are you expecting? Yeah, I mean, this, this is a kid that, you know, a year ago – you know, I, I told I told Jessica a year ago this kid's going to be the freshman of the year in Conference USA because she is an incredibly gifted kid, and, and it was during this exhibition last year that she hurt her elbow, and uh, you know she dominated this exhibition last year, and you know we started to think maybe we had enough to do it again, and then walked in the next day holding her elbow and, and missed the next six to eight weeks of, of the season, and so um, you know she had a great spring for us, and uh, I, I think. If she stays healthy, I think she's a kid that, that people are going to um, see very quickly is a, is a factor for WKU Volleyball and hopefully will be for a very long time. How long has it been since you've been, from what it sounds like, this excited about a player? That well, you know, I, we've had a lot of All-Americans roll through here, and I don't know 
know if she's the next one. I can tell you she has All-American talent, you know, but there's a lot more to being an All-American than just, just ability level. And, you know, but she's also shown in the last year an eagerness to work hard and get better. And, and, you know, when you put that together with the kind of talent that she is, a lot of good things usually come from that. And so, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it for a lot of our young kids. Katie Eisenbarger's a kid that, you know, last year played out of position because we had so many injuries. She never played a natural position. And this year she's been able to train and return to her natural middle hitter position. And, um, you know, K- Kaylin Jackson, KJ, is a kid that, you know, has missed the last two off seasons with a foot injury. And, you know, you see really good things out of her. And, and I, I'm just excited for this group because they're a great group of kids and mm-hmm. they're healthy right now. And if we can keep them that way, I think it's a, it's going to be a lot of fun. I just have one more. You mentioned the heart attack. How are you feeling now? Thank you. I feel great. Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a journey. You know, you, 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 it's not something you bounce back from super quick. And, you know, you're trying to regulate all your medications and do all those kinds of things. And I finally feel like I'm in a place where I wake up every day and have the energy that I need. Uh, to do this job at a high level, and so uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get started in year 25, and uh, I look forward to watching this young group grow into uh, something pretty special.